Poli at O, everything you should know about the polio virus. Presentation by Anjali Shanker, Rebecca Solinger, and Sophia Calvo. Poliomyelitis is caused by a virus in the family Picoraviridae and subgroup Antivirus. The polio virus has a positive stranded RNA genome. The virus is naked and lacks a lipid envelope. The polio virus forms a provirus, a virus that integrates its genome into the DNA of the host cell. This means that the polio virus can exist for many years within a host without causing any noticeable symptoms. The Pico and Pico Raviridae indicates that the virus is very small, only about 18 to 30 nanometers in diameter. Polio virus has three serotypes, PV1, PV2, and PV3. Infection by a single serotype does not make the host immune to the other two. The polio virus's RNA replication occurs in two phases. The negative RNA strand is synthesized first and is then used as a template to repl replicate the positive stranded RNA. Poliomyelitis is spread through person-to-person -person contact. When fecal matter containing the virus reaches the oral cavity by hand or more rarely when food or water contaminated with fecal matter enters through the oral cavity, exchanging saliva can also spread the virus. Carriers of polio are most infectious seven to nine days before the onset of symptoms. Polio enters through the mouth and nose, and the virus reproduces in the mucosal surfaces of the nasopharynx. The virus makes its way to the gastrointestinal tract, where it invades special cells in the intestines. The virus then, having replicated further, travels in the bloodstream, invades the central nervous system, and spreads to nerve fibers. Human nerve cells have a protruding protein structure on their surface. Upon encountering the cell, the polio virus attaches to the protein receptors, and the infection begins. The virus then progresses through the lytic cycles and continues to infect more cells. The virus then destroys these nerve fibers or motor neurons which control the muscles for swallowing, circulation, respiration, and the trunks, arms, and legs. The body does have a typical immune response to the polio virus, but it usually isn't effective. When the polio virus enters different cells of the body, MHC class 1 proteins within those cells display pieces of viral peptides on the in infected cell surface. These fragments of viral proteins signal to cytotoxic T-cells, which have specialized proteins on their surface called T-cell receptors, or TCRs. Each TCR can specifically recognize a particular antigenic peptide bound to an MHC molecule. If the T-cell receptor detects a peptide form of a virus, a peptide from a virus, it warns its T-cell of an infection. The T-cell then releases cytotoxic factors, or destructive enzymes, which trigger apoptosis in infected cells. Different people respond to infections by the poliovirus in variable ways. 72% of cases are asymptomatic. However, even without symptoms, infected hosts are still able to transmit the disease to other people. About 24% of polio cases in children result in minor illness. These children typically recover within a week and experience no permanent damage. Less than 1% of those infected by polio experience flaccid paralysis, which can result in permanent paralysis decrease muscle tone, and even death. Preventative measures for polio virus exist through two strains of vaccines called IPV, inactivated polio vaccine, and less commonly used OPV, oral polio vaccine. IPV contains isolates from the three serotypes and releases antibodies into the bloodstream. It's grown using the cells from monkey kidneys. It's recommended that people receive three rounds of IPV for maximum immunity. The first shot is received at two months old, the second at four months, and the third at four to six years old. There is no cure for the virus itself, but certain measures can be taken to subdue the effects and symptoms of polio. Antibiotics can be taken for urinary tract infections, while heating pads and warm towels help reduce muscle pain and spasms. Over-the-counter painkillers can also reduce headaches and muscle pains. For more advanced cases, physical therapy, braces or corrective shoes, or orthopedic surgery can help recover muscle strength and function. Luckily, polio has been eradicated in most developed and developing countries, but as of 2015, 105 cases were reported worldwide. These cases originated in Madagascar, Myanmar, Nigeria, Ukraine, Afghanistan, Pakistan, the People's Republic of Laos, and several countries in West Africa. The only two countries still endemic for polio are Afghanistan and Pakistan, in which two new cases were reported in 2016. 
Afghanistan and Pakistan face a range of challenges such as insecurity, weak health systems, and poor sanitation. Polio can spread from these endemic countries to infect children in other countries with less than adequate vaccination. Remember that you can have and spread the polio virus even if you don't show symptoms. The best way to protect yourself and your kids is to get them vaccinated. Even if you are over 18 years old, it's not too late to get your three IPV shots. If you're traveling to a country with a current or recent series of polio cases, it's recommended to receive the three rounds of vaccinations as a precaution, regardless of whether you receive them as a child or not.